What's going on everybody? Mike G here and this is part two to the refurbishing and renovation video. Oh Vinny, that's it right there. Smile for the YouTube. Alright, the next part, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how to paint the canister without getting the paint on the glass. Oh, This is what I do. I just take some old newspaper, some tape, and some scissors, and I tape it up. You can do it! I'm gonna go do it! What I do is I just measure it a little bit, and I leave a little space there. I don't do it exactly, because I have to have room to put the tape on there, where it'll be right on the edge. And you'll see as I go along. And then I just cut this side. It doesn't have to be perfect, just something close. Okay, that's good right there. And then I use this one to make a pattern for the other three. And then I just create a pattern for the other three the same way. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be good enough to tape it on there. Okay, next, I stretch the tape out to where it'll cover the edge a little over so I can fold it in and rip it right there. Then I place this one right along the edge. You want to get it exactly on the edge, as close to the edge as you can get. That way it doesn't get on the glass. Oops and the paint will hit all of the gray or the cream colored area. And when I get ready to put this one on, I place this one first. On the edge, right along the edge like this. Push it down just a little bit, and then I'll tuck this piece under here. And then over the top, and fold it and tape it down. And then I'll put another little piece of tape over this edge, because obviously I didn't cut the paper long enough, I thought I did. Okay, and this is how it'll look like. You can see the edges. It's a nice edge here. You can see right here a nice edge. So it won't get on the glass to spray paint. And we'll make sure we cover the entire area so it won't be any gray sticking out here or cream color. And I'm gonna move on to the other one. All right, and this is what I do to paint them. Obviously to cover, I don't wanna get any paint in here. And Wayne Hunter, I know you was asking me this question here, so I'm, this one's for you, buddy. What I do is I just take this one and I place it right on the back of it. When I hit the back, and I just... I'm not really worried about the paint getting on there because I have to paint that one anyway. And I just use that as my cover, rather than having to use something else. And I just go back and forth with little, uh, little spurts. here a little bit and then when I get ready to do this up I just flip this around facing this way and do the same thing and it never gets inside because that top piece covers it and I continue with my little spurts and then I flip it to this side. And now, the final side. I continue with my little spurts. That way it doesn't drip. Okay. 
And now when I get ready to do the last one, since these are wet, I can't put any of that facing down. So I just put the newspaper part facing down and that's how I get my last one. And I do that all the way around. This one I like to start with them upside down because the biggest part is on the bottom once it dries I'll flip it over and just do a little light spray on the tip around the edges Now the inside and the back, all this is gonna be covered. So you really don't have to worry about painting it. A lot of times I don't. I'm going to do it for this video because it just looks nicer. Sometimes I do do it, but sometimes I don't. It doesn't really matter. Okay. And these, you can take them apart and do each individual piece if you want. Me, I don't really worry about it. I just go ahead and hit it. A couple questions also about the paint scratching up once you paint it a lot of time this will wear just from people's finger and this part right here will wear so what you can do is you can put a quarter in here and you can turn it like this right here and you can paint with this part right here and as soon as it goes through this part right here will still be gray but it won't be scratched up and you can also go to the back of the machine. You can unscrew this part right here and pull this knob off while you spray it. That way you can leave this gray and this gray and it won't get scratched up. That will prevent it from being scratched. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this quarter in and turn it halfway. And I'm gonna spray it on there so you can see how that comes out and how it looks like. If you like the video, make sure you check out part three where I put the machine back together again. And make sure you give us a huge Hulk smash down on the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can get instant notifications every time I put up a new video. Until then, I'll see you next time.